In this week's episode of the Jen and Elka Clark Show, we're doing something special. We are showing you a recording of one of our podcast episodes where we speak about the five strategies which we teach in the Profit by Design Academy Bootcamp. The bootcamp is officially open for enrollment right now, and on January 18th, we officially start. If you're interested in learning more about enrolling in the bootcamp, please message us or comment on this video because we would love to have you with us when we go through the 12 weeks of the bootcamp to cover all the modules in the Profit by Design Academy. So let's get started and watch the podcast episode recording. Well, hey there, it's Elka and Jen. And in this episode of the Creative and Ambitious Entrepreneur Podcast, we are talking to you about the five strategies that we've created to create a profitable business on Zazzle. Yep, the strategy the, with the five, sorry, the five strategies that we created, which are establish, create, announce, align, and analyze, just so that you know, <laughs> are the things that have helped us generate $15 million worth of sales on Zazzle, and we got to keep 1.5 million of that as being paid out in royalties to mm -hmm. us. So if that didn't catch your attention, I don't know what will. <laughs> so here we go. Let's talk about the five strategies. If you already are in our space of students and people, people that we've coached in terms of mm -hmm. clients, then you'll know that these are very core uh, strategies that we use even to this day in our Zazzle businesses when we are checking out to make sure that it's as profitable as uh, we want it to be or if we want to increase our uh, sales or if we just want to maintain our sales. So it's very uh, important that all five of the strategies are working all at once. And what we've noticed is that if one of them gets dropped and is not as clearly in line and always at attention in our businesses, then our businesses go down a little bit in terms of our sales and income. So this is a, a proven set of strategies that not only we have used, but now our students have used to be very successful on Zazzle, but anyone who is not as successful hasn't implemented all the five strategies. Mm -hmm. And even when we don't keep all of them up, we can see a change. So. Yeah listen up this is very important that you understand what those five strategies are and that you make sure that they're in your Zazzle business so that you can also have a profitable Zazzle business that allows you to make the money that you want and to do the things you want with that money which mm -hmm. is awesome like live your dream life the first strategy is establish and establish is very important to begin with obviously because this is where you're going to figure out what you as a designer are all about right you want to figure out who you are what your vision is what your brand is where you want to go the direction your niche and what's your avatar because you are creating a business that is going to be with you for a long period of time and you really want to make sure at the core value of your business that you're creating and establishing it properly yes and there's so many different things that are in um, this part of the strategy that you have to attend to to make sure that you are going to set up the business properly because if you don't then unfortunately the rest of your business whatever you do with it won't um, be able to su you, you won't your business won't be able to support that mm -hmm whatever else you add to it right so we want to make sure that initially you have a couple of things just lined up perfectly so one is figuring out what niche you're going to uh, sell in mm -hmm. and, and some people who are listening they might say niche <laughs> we say niche yeah. so uh, make sure that that's clear but yes especially first you have to decide what you're going to target who what area of the all, all the possibilities in general are you going to target so the niche is very important and usually you pick a niche ba uh, based on the almost a niche <laughs> that you that you are going to be comfortable with and familiar with so that you can bring a lot of uh, your own research and customer research with it so that you can be very clear and know exactly what you need to provide the customer yeah. to start making sales as soon as possible mm -hmm. so if i was like let's say it's going to be going into and starting a niche of martial arts i'd be totally lost i'd have to spend so many yeah. hours researching and then i probably would never really get it right because i'm not into martial arts yeah uh, whereas someone else might be very much into martial arts like some of our students who have really successful stores doing that but the so that's the first thing is to make sure that you set up your niche and that you find a niche that really works for you that you can resonate with and, and already be in tune with so you don't have to do a lot of extra work to 
become successful in something that you're not comfortable with and don't know what the demand is. Yeah, and I just want to jump in quickly and say sure. Zazzle is such an amazing platform that gives the opportunities to Zazzle designers to be in whatever niche they want. Yeah, because, which is awesome. Yeah, because you are able to create designs on a blank canvas, which are blank products. And so if you do, for example, decide to go into a niche that is selling martial arts related products, you can totally do that. And you're not limited to the products or the possibilities based on your niche. And someone else can come in and start designing things relating to knitting or to gymnastics or to even cooking or crocheting, any, crocheting or anything else that they're excited and are passionate about and they want to choose as their niche. And you both equally or everyone equally can complete compete in a marketplace by selling the products that they've decided to sell within that niche. Like yes. Zazzle doesn't limit you based on what you want to sell. Yes, because the Zazzle customer is a variety, like there's a variety of customers that come to Zazzle. Mm -hmm. And the, the main component though, the, the core reason that they come to Zazzle is because they, that Zazzle offers products that you as a designer make that are all very unique, original, and customizable. So if you keep those core values in mind, then you can choose whatever niche you feel the, you have the most to contribute to, and therefore you'll be, have the highest amount of uh, chance of selling. Mm -hmm. So then the, the next part of establish is creating your brand. And the branding is very important as well because it works with customer um, satisfaction and trust yeah so you need to be able to give that customer within like three seconds of them seeing your logo and your store name and your storefront that feeling that they can shop there without feeling worried or nervous and that they've, they've gotten to the right place right mm -hmm. so that martial arts store if they all of a sudden had something about wedding invitations unless it's a martial arts <laughs> wedding invitation they're not going to have something that's going to confuse the customer offered in their store they're going to stick to their brand and their their what they are going to deliver and yeah. offer to the customer because their messaging and their branding is all cohesive which is fun yeah then the the other part about establish is getting your store set up properly on Zazzle. There are some components that are really required yeah. in order for you to be set up. And if you're interested in that and make it, make it life easy, just follow the videos that we have in our training courses and it's all done for you very quickly. You just follow the, the training and then all of a sudden you're, you've done all the things that Zazzle asks you to do to look professional. Yeah. Right? Literally step by step. We go through <laughs> video tutorials with you. <laughs> yeah, because it can be a pain, right? Mm -hmm. To do all these things, you know, why is it pro you know necessary? but it is so necessary because you're going to look professional you're going to look brand like you're going to establish your brand and you're going to use and do all the key components that Zazzle wants you to do to basically set up your business or mm -hmm. establish which is yeah. strategy number one the last part about establish which we always like leave to the end but it's actually the most important mm -hmm. is to establish you as a business owner yeah. and with your capabilities and your abilities to understand from a mindset point of view as well as from a, a physical doing point of view what it is that it's going to take for you to run your Zazzle business. So on the one hand you have to get trained, you have to know how to use Zazzle, you have to upload your products properly, uh, you have to know how to do that, you have to design relatively well or make sure that the, photo the photographs that you're going to sell online that are from your photography or artwork or graphic designs are all uploaded properly and that your images are not blurry and that all these little things that are necessary for you to present yourself as in a professional place where you they can buy th the customer can buy things. Then the other part about uh, the training is you personally have to be trained as a business owner to understand that this is a business. It's not a hobby. It's not yeah. something you do on the side hustle and you know whenever you decide to do something. If you want to make this work and get to that point where you are successful as Jen and I, then you have to treat it as a business. And many creatives forget that they that the creativity is not enough. You have to work the system. You have to know the business side of things in order for you to be able to get that product that you've just made that's absolutely gorgeous, but get it in front of the eyeballs of that customer that really does, does want it. 
but they because we're creatives we don't have that business savvy and that's where a lot of our training and coaching comes in is to help creatives do that to understand the business side of things and make it easy for the creatives to really under, uh, like do it and not just leave it to another day when when they you know feel like it which is something that anyone would do if they're not comfortable with something mm -hmm. right so that's all that's in established and it's quite a lot but it's the most important and that's why it's strategy number one yeah so strategy number two is create and this is where we speak to you about creating everything that is going to be selling within your Zazzle store. You need to create products and you need to create designs and post them for sale because you need to obviously sell something in your business. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you don't make any money. No products, no sales, and no money. <laughs> yeah, which is unfortunate, but obviously you well, need you to... Well, you can't just sign up and do a store and have nothing in it. I know, I Zazzle wish. Zazzle doesn't but pay yeah. you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's very obvious and that we're making light of it, but yeah. then other uh, students or you know, like non-students come to us and go, well, I've made so many products and I still don't have a yeah. sale. And so this is where the create strategy really comes in. It's not about making a, a whole bunch of products. It's about creating the right products. Creating with and, intention. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And the right, like when, mm -hmm. as well as intention. Yeah. Because you, as you said, you can create thousands of different products. We have some students who have been on Zazzle for years before meeting us and getting our training and coaching. And they have had thousands of products or hundreds of products and they just don't sell. And they come to us and they say, I don't get it. I'm doing so much work. I have all the products. They're not working for me. And this is like, it's, it's a, it's a, my business isn't working. What's yeah. going on? And, and Zazzle's no, like, it's not good. Like, yeah. Like, a lot of like, there's a lot of frustration there and we can really sense that, but it's t the, the products themselves need to have some help Mm -hmm. either with creating them properly and posting them for sale properly yeah or the design themselves just needs to be tweaked somehow so that it's going to be much more um, interesting to the customer to purchase it yeah and that's one of our core values within our zazzle course the profit by design academy is to help you create your products properly because we do understand the level of frustration that you have when you've created all these products and they're not selling that's a lot of hard work and hours which we spoke about before that have gone into creating something that's giving you zero dollars so wouldn't you want to make a product that gives you like what we have experience you know thousands of dollars obviously that doesn't happen with everybody and it doesn't happen all the time but there is potential there and the reason why it works works for us is because we've created our products properly with intention and realized the components that go into creating a profitable product and a profitable business because yeah, as you said there's a lot of design components as yeah, well. Yeah, I was going to say there's more than just posting a product for sale or creating a pretty design. There is all of the business aspect in with respect to posting it in the proper categories or properly titling and tagging it for SEO. And then there's a lot of design elements too, where you want to actually make sure you're creating a product that first of all, looks good to the customer that wants to buy it. And then also that is trending and that is visually appealing to them and that it's in demand and that people are going to buy. There's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes with creating a product and posting it for sale in terms of the business aspect and you know customer buying had habits and design ha design elements as well that sometimes you don't actually realize when you're first starting out on Zazzle you think that you can just post a product for sale and what we say a lot of the time is throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing if it sticks so a lot of our students or previous students have done that where they've just said okay this is what I think is cool and I'm going to post it for sale and it's just going to work for me and sometimes that works, but most of the time it doesn't. You have which to have a proper structure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. So did you want to touch on anything oh, else? Oh, no, for I create? didn't want to interrupt I, you. I just wanted to agree with you. No, well, I think that's the most important part of Create and which a lot of students resonate with is that they've, they have major aha moments and they realize, wow, I was creating products and working very hard and not seeing the results and now I understand why. Yeah. Because there's so much more that goes into it than just posting a product for sale. Yes, and when we say intentional, we're not saying that you didn't intentionally make your product yeah. initially. 
but what we're saying is that you have to be intentional with the purpose of selling mm -hmm. and I know that you probably wanted to sell but are you intentionally serving your customer by creating those products and providing them for that customer and so that's the big difference and that's why create is the second strategy yeah so third strategy yes is announce. announce and announce for me is really fun because it's promotion but sometimes our students and then also like zazzle designers in general and me and you are <laughs> afraid of promotion and you don't like being too salesy and the reason why we added announce into our five strategies is because we need promotion and whether that be promotion externally on social media or emails or anything outside of Zazzle or actually internally on Zazzle and that's where it's kind of cool because we've realized and recognized a strategy that we can implement in our Zazzle businesses that actually sells our products without being too salesy and actually trying too hard yes. to promote our products. Yeah, not in your face promotion. That's icky, I don't like that. Yeah. And so we've over the years developed a really great strategies that actually even like big corporations use like you don't you don't have people from big corporations saying buy this buy this buy this you have corporations showing people that like in coca-cola that people are drinking coke and having fun yeah, and so all experience. of a sudden you want to buy a coke and it's like why do i want to buy a coke and it's because they've created an experience and they've done things mm -hmm. to make you through a lot of marketing f figure out that as soon as they see some you see someone drinking coke that you want a coke mm -hmm. and this is the kind of marketing that you can use we teach this in the profit by design academy and the add-on uh, membership that we have the profitable membership but in general that's what you're doing anyway right you no one ever wants to buy something from someone who says buy this buy this buy this yeah. they want to be able to trust the person that is asking you to buy this they want to feel like it's something that they could use that it's going to be good value for them and also that there's a connection right a connection of them like either resonating with you because you also have a cat or mm -hmm. you love dogs or or if it's a resonation of something that you've done together or experienced together or just a hobby commonality yeah. and also getting to know that person is also great. So like social media where Jen, like I'm not as keen, but Jen mm -hmm. is very keen on social media. And so that's an aspect, but I, you don't need all of that in order to build the trust. The trust comes right from the beginning when we said to hard to talk to you about the establish, where you put a brand together that the customer can resonate with and that the customer sees the co cohesiveness of your brand. That is already trust. And then other things that are on Zazzle where you have the ability to market to your customer in a way that helps them and educates them and entertains them in much more ways can you then use that rather than just saying buy this, buy this, buy this to sell and promote your stuff without actually you looking salesy which i love yeah. those strategies i'm all in for and yeah that's that's my my deal yeah no me too and i mean social media is lots of fun and being on instagram or on facebook really it's an experience but you have to be into that and you have to be dedicated to doing that and if you're not then we've created a strategy that helps you promote without being in your face and salesy and icky yeah. and feeling icky and because of that we've made 1.5 million dollars worth of royalties which is awesome and sold 15 million dollars worth of product yeah. without ever being in your face uh, doing in, in your face promotion yeah which is really important because this allow this fits with our if you've watched and listened to our other episodes where you've heard us talk about the perceivable, passive, profitable business framework that mm -hmm. we've set up, this really ties in well with that because that the in-your-face promotion is also always an active promotion, whereas we like passive or yeah. organic promotion, which you do once and then it happens all the time, or you've done one thing and because you've done that one thing, even though it has nothing to do with like buy my product, because they've the customer has seen that other promotion, like let's say you know you show a picture of you painting a picture, or you out for a walk and and taking photographs because that's who you are, you're a photographer, they're resonating with you on that level, and then all of a sudden they realize oh they ha you guys have stuff for sale, even the photographs you just took on that walk, I want one of those, I really like that walk, that is a passive 
promotion that's organic and we love that and that's also how we've become so successful because we're not uh, doing that other type of promotion we're doing it very strategically mm -hmm. and uh, we think that that makes it so much more important and builds your brand up as well so it helps you with strategy number one which is establish yeah okay strategy number four. four now strategy number four is align and align is extremely important as well because you need to be in alignment with yourself as a Zazzle designer and then also in alignment with your goals and your vision for the future and where you want your Zazzle business to go and we're very adamant at making you as a student set your goals and work towards achieving them because that's part of the whole process right you want to achieve a certain thing or a certain dollar amount in earnings at the end of this business journey and if you aren't recognizing those goals or in alignment with them and putting in the right strategies to be aligned with those then you're never going to reach your goal and it's never going to work for you because you need to put things into place, implement the strategies, and then also have that vision because you need to know what you're working for and, mm -hmm. and getting towards, right? Yes, and it comes also with checking up on your progress. Mm -hmm. And if there, the progress isn't what you expected, because like everyone can have amazing goals, yeah. but if you don't, and they can even go, okay, I'm gonna do this, this, and this. It's just like going yeah. to the gym. <laughs> I'm gonna lose 20 pounds, and I'm gonna go to the gym every single day. And then like five mm -hmm. months later, it's like you've gone to the gym once, and you've gained pounds. <laughs> and so at that, some point, you have to go, oh my gosh, this is what happened. This is not acceptable. Uh, now I can't continue doing that strategy because it wasn't really working for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so therefore you have to keep also assessing what's happening. And yeah, we're going to get into that in strategy five, uh, number five, but this is partly like they're all interconnected yeah. and interconnected. And so, but here also by having those goals in place and implementing the strategies, then what you're also doing is asking you to perform. Mm -hmm. And so part of the alignment is having your mindset set to the point where you are the business owner, you're the strategist, you're the promoter, but you're also the worker. Mm -hmm. And by being the worker, you have to work. <laughs> you have to get, you work smart, but you don't work, uh, and you don't work hard, but you have to still work. Yeah. And if you are doing all the fun stuff, like, okay, I'm gonna make this much, my goal is this, I got this strategy, but if you don't sit down and do the work, because your your mind is thinking, okay, this is all fun, and I'm gonna make this money, I'm gonna postulate it. You're being it. the I'm dreamer gonna, then. <laughs> I'm gonna be the dreamer, I'm just gonna make it all happen by positive law of attraction that unfortunately that's not going to work for you you're going to feel good you're going to be like really excited that this is going to happen sometime in the future but if you want to like just get down to business then you also have to be aligned yeah. with what is expected of you and what your expectations are and how you have to uh, perform in order to get to that uh, goal that yeah. you set and i think the like the fourth strategy is very telling too because it gets you to actually push your boundaries and realize mm -hmm am I actually able to achieve this goal? Because as I said, it's fun to dream. You say, I want a million dollars or I want a mansion on the seaside. But you have to realize, can I actually get there? Or what do I have to put into place to get there? Yes. And so it actually gets your brain and your subconscious working because you can actually visualize it and see, okay, yeah, actually it is achievable. And yeah, I can earn that and I can get there. And what do I have to do to, to work towards to get to, to do to work and what do I have to do to get there and what have, do I have to implement? Oh my gosh, that was a tongue twister. And so you actually are realizing, am I able to do this? Or maybe this is too far off from me, but I need to start in a different spot. But yeah. it starts to get your brain working and you see that things are perceivable and you can make this work for yeah. you. <laughs> and, and that is why Align is one of the five strategies because, yeah, you can either make products or you can promote or you can establish but if you don't align mm -hmm. all of that together and be in that headspace where you know that you're going to do all of this and you also are in alignment with your mind that you can do it because we have a lot of issues just in general human nature that we do things like self-sabotage yeah. or we don't allow ourselves to believe that certain things are possible for us just because our upbringing and our environments have not allowed us to even feel like this is possible because that's something so different than what we're used to and what we've been taught mm -hmm. growing up and so 
that has to be in alignment in addition to your work habits and your goals. And like Jen said, you can dream and be uh, like, say, I'm going to mil- make a million dollars. But if you say, I'm going to make a million dollars by next month, that's not in alignment yeah. with what's possible right now because you maybe don't have the skill sets or you haven't even established anything where you haven't even set up your <laughs> Zazzle store. And so that unless you're winning the lottery, then that million dollars is not going to come that, that way. Like 99% possibility of it not happening is pretty clear. There's always still a possibility, but let's be a little bit more in alignment with what's possible and where you want to go. But on the other hand, you don't want to uh, stop yourself from being able to dream and move forward. Yeah. And so we've got a whole bunch of things in the Profit by Design Academy that give you help with that, including our trademarked ERSD goal setting technique, which I came up with. And it's a really great tool for you to set your goals without being defeated and yeah. to be able to say it's like a really cool positive mindset trick but in the in the process you can really get behind this goal setting technique and it makes you feel really good and our students we've tried and tested it out now for about two years everybody loves it and it is one way for you to be in alignment and to help you reach those big goals but not be overwhelmed by them and have them set but not be overwhelmed by them and still be achieving certain things but not be upset that it's not as much as what you originally thought. It's really a great uh, tool mm-hmm. and technique and I'm really excited to be able to share that with you in the Profit by Design Academy. All right, so the last and but not least of the strategies, which is strategy number five, is analyze. Do you want to go into that sure. one? Sure. Analyze can be a little bit scary for some people, but it's actually the most important if you were to label one of them being important because it's going to actually tell you if your Zazzle store is working for you and what is the story that's happening in your Zazzle store. It helps you understand things that are moving, things that are working, things that not working. that are not working more importantly and it really gets you to dive deep into what's happening and how you can then refresh the whole cycle and move through the strategies again based on the information that you've recognized and, and realized in strategy number five in analyze because if you've done all of these strategies and you've implemented everything properly but something's not working you need to go back and you need to figure out what's yeah. not working for exactly. you exactly yeah yeah because how are, else are you going to know yeah right you just keep working 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 doing everything and you think you're doing fine and after a while you just get really frustrated because you're not making sales mm-hmm. and but if you don't check to see why that is happening then yeah then you're the only thing that is truly the case at that point is that whatever you're doing is not actually okay. Yeah. Even if you are doing the other four strategies, you're not doing them the way they need to be done yeah. in order for you to see success. Yeah, so because that, the five strategies are lab- they're set out for you to do the work and, and they're impl- you need to implement them properly. And if you've gone and done a couple of them not as they need to be or if something's not working in your store or that you haven't posted a product for example with the proper titles and tags and it's not selling and it should be that's where you see the things in the analyze strategy to really hone in at the little like nitty-gritty things and realize what's working and what's not working yeah and that's truly the case it's always the nitty-gritty right you can be working really hard you can do all kinds of stuff You may even overlook certain things, but if you don't have that time to reflect Mm -hmm. and check out to see if things are like happening for you, then you can't also investigate to see what could be the cause behind it. And maybe it's a mistake that you're making where you think you're not actually making that mistake. But once you analyze it and you realize you are making that mistake, then you realize, oh my gosh, I've made that on like a thousand products and yeah. oops <laughs> if you don't do that analysis on that. a monthly uh, basis then yeah. you won't you won't see that well i've personally done that where i've created products thinking that everything was perfect all of my templates were right the titles and tags were great and i've posted a lot of different versions of them and i realized that i have a spelling mistake in one of them oops <laughs> and so that means that i have to go back and actually repost all of those products for sale because you can't like you you don't want to sell that to the customer first of all and it's not going to sell because it has a flaw so you want to make sure that you recognize those little nitty-gritty mistakes before or after the fact but go back and re- and fix them because if you don't recognize them then you're just going to think that 
all your products are perfect, everything is fine, everything's working properly, but it actually isn't. Yeah, and you're going to get frustrated and upset that Zazzle's not working or mm-hmm. that it's not a great platform or yeah. it's not fair. And I kind of hinted about that already once before, but that's where the alignment comes in because you have to realize that you're running this as a business. And in this case, the business is not performing and that's what you're understanding and realizing because of the analysis you're doing. Obviously, the biggest um, and easiest thing to measure if you're doing well or not is if you get sales. But there's so many other things that you need to analyze in order for you to really understand why you're not getting sales. And it's not because Zazzle is not a great place for designers. It's a great place for designers. It's because you have used it ineffectively to post your products or you've done something where you have posted in uh, you know an Easter product in De- in December and we don't really need an Easter product until you know it becomes closer to Easter season and so you are missing out because you didn't post the product at the site at the right time or like Jen said you've made a, a mistake and everything looks really really good and you are thinking well there should be sales and why aren't there sales and it could be because of a spelling mistake or mm-hmm. it could be because uh, you have titled and tagged it incorrectly so we look and, and ask the cus- our, our students in the f- strategy under analyze we ask them to do a whole bunch of things including looking at sales because when you do have sales then you want to maximize those sales and so you start to do the building up and getting more profitable action steps so that you can get more sales from what is working and then anything that is not a sales option where you're seeing no sales then you go into a different set of analysis where you check out things like are the templates working are the titles and tags working is your design okay when did I post this? When, uh, like all these things where you are using parameters to double check to make sure that you gave your product or your worker, and we like to take this <laughs> analogy that all our products are working for us um, and making passive income for us, then maybe one of your workers isn't doesn't have all the tools that they need to do the job. And one of the tools could be titles and tags. The other tool could be the design. The other co- tool could be the color or the choice of font or so many different variations that we talk about in grave detail in the Profit by Design Academy and can't get into here. But basically the idea is, is that the product doesn't cut it or it's not being seen and therefore you're not getting sales. Mm-hmm. And so now uh, if you put in this strategy number five as part of your monthly to-do list then every month you're going to be able to check to see how everything's functioning in your business check on those workers and check and see that they're making uh, the most money for you so that you can take home money as the you know the the income from the business Mm -hmm. the other thing that's really important with regards to analysis is you have a couple of opportunities here. If you do this analysis every month, then you're going to get some history about what's happening year after year. And you'll know what to start implementing on a larger scale for like years worth of business knowledge. The other thing is, is if you do this monthly, you'll be able to salvage things. If you only do this every six months, or if you only do it once a year, and even if you never do it, how are you going to fix something that's not working for you? But if you can fix it after one month, imagine all the extra money that you could be making and all the hours of saved time where you're not fixing something because you caught a mistake early or you realized a product wasn't posted properly or it wasn't functioning properly. The customer couldn't fill it out properly and put their name in or something like that. So there are so many reasons why analysis needs to be done at at least once a month. Mm -hmm. And then all the things that you understand from your analysis, you then need to fix and implement into your current business activities, which is really important as well as figuring out just what the heck happened. Yeah. 
Okay, so and are we done? Uh, I think so. Strategies? I just wanted yes, to are. bring back and say the reason why there's five of them and they're all equally important is because they all work together and you can't just do one or the other. You have to do all five. Yes. And they're all extremely important for the success of your Zazzle business. And we go into much more detail into the five strategies in the Profit by Design Academy. And so that is how our students have also become so successful too is because they've implemented the five strategies which we created but we also have lived through we created them because we've done that work and we've realized that this is what works and these are the things that are so so important to implement into your zazzle business exactly so thank you so much and we will see you in the next episode bye thanks for watching this week's episode of the jen and alka clark show what we believe to be true is that if you build your online Zazzle business using the three pillars, perceivable, passive, profitable, then you can create a business that gives you your dream life. To learn more about how we can work together, visit alkaclark.com.